Alright boys, welcome to the voiceover for this push day. I start off with incline dumbbell press. Now I was gonna do incline split machine, but there was someone on it, they had five sets left. I'm not waiting fucking five sets to go on to the exercise. So I just went onto the bench and did dumbbells. I haven't done dumbbells in like three weeks. My reps just skyrocketed. Like I was getting 12 reps with 50 kilos. I was getting 15, 14, 13. And uh, my form here is pretty good. Like I'm going down slowly and up. It's more controlled on the dumbbells rather than, you know, strength on the incline split machine. And get a really good pump in the chest. Moving on from the incline, we're going onto this chest press machine. The same with the incline, we're doing slowed and controlled reps. Because for the chest, I do slow to control reps. And I get a better pump. I'm pushing, I think I'm doing 71 kg. Now, I could have went higher, but my chest is already fucked from the incline dumbbells. So, I don't really want to risk injury, you know what I'm saying? The tempo and everything's here is perfect. And you can see I did a few partials at the end as well. I do the partials just because it helps build the chest. So for the last chest exercise, I'm just doing chest flies. I'm doing pressing from the incline and pressing from the chest press machine. So at this point, I just want to squeeze out the chest, get as much energy and work going into it. You know what I mean? Again, with this slowed and controlled, I'm not doing anything too heavy here. Again, I did 10 sets of chest already. I don't need to go really heavy. Again, risk an injury. Going all the way to failure and I'm doing partials at the end. So that was chest pretty much done. Going at the rear delts, literally flipping over the machine. I'm doing a full range of motion here. Stretching my arm out all the way and keep moving it up and down. Again, these are slow and controlled. I couldn't do any more reps on this. You can see here I'm doing, I did partials at the end. But if I did one more rep, I think I would have just, you know, collapsed on that seat there. So I'm doing lateral raise next. My form when this has improved vast i remember starting off doing this and just already feeling it in my front delt but i really perfected my form that's just from watching youtube videos and shit if you're struggling on any exercise i recommend just watch a youtube video how to do it otherwise you'll look like a fucking retard doing exercises like i did beforehand i do a drop set on my last set i didn't record it but look oh, it completely destroys the shoulders and to finish off the push day i'm doing uh, incline dumbbell curls now after watching this back i don't really like the form here i'll give it a 7 out of 10 i feel like i should leave my elbow in a locked position and slowly bring it up so i might lower the weight down and adjust and that's the strength of a recording, you know, if you're recording your sets, you can see where you're going wrong and when you're going right. And I finished off a hammer, hammer curls, just two sets, but I didn't record it. So that's that done. That is upper done. I'm uh, gonna hit up the post workout mail in a minute. What, what a training session. Like, I do, what is it, 13, 13 sets of chest. And, I don't know, that could be too much. I don't know, it's working for me. I just feel like my chest is completely pumped up and fully fatigued after 13 sets i feel like if i've done any more my chest just it'd be just junk you know just doing it for the sake of it so 13 i found is the perfect number for me for chest shoulders seven sets i mean i could do a little bit more but i feel like that's enough my shoulders are pretty you know uh, developed and then i think i did six sets of, six sets of biceps you know the incline incline uh, bicep curls whoa I remember got that feeling. You have like a, a vein in your uh, bicep, yeah? And if you do one more rep, it feels like it's gonna explode. That's that's how it felt like for me. I don't know what it is. It, it's really weird. It's a weird feeling. Maybe I did it too hard or something, I don't know. But, I mean, I'll take that. So we started off with um, incline dumbbells. I was gonna go to incline uh, Smith machine, but someone was on it and I'm not waiting. Like, they had five sets left. I'm not waiting fucking that long to, you know, start my workout. But I feel like with every workout session, I warm up. You have to do warm up. I feel like if you don't warm up, you're not going to, A, you're high risk of injury. B, you're not going to be, you know, training as hard. And C, your muscles are going to be more like, uh, what is it, ready for the workout. Because you're going from inactive to pressing heavy weight. So I feel like... That's be a in between in there, you know what I'm saying? Like a warm up should be that hard, like it should be warm up with like fucking what fifty kilos, you know? Too much, too much. Just a light warm up, kinda just uh duplicate the movement you're doing, but to a lighter degree. And also do some dy dynamic stretching, so just like move your arms or something like fucking up. Bulk is going fantastic. I think it's day number seventy two, okay? And uh we are the heaviest I've ever been at 83.8. Like, that number is absurd to me. Because this time last year, I was, was weighing in at like 67 or 63, 67. I don't even remember. And, like, 
I would never think I'd get to 83, like, or 84. And uh, the goal is 110 kg. Uh, I feel like that is a good good number to hit, good number for my height, because, like, I'm 6'4", 3, and, you know, the heavier I am, the bigger I look. I mean, that's that's uh, a no-brainer there. But I'm working on a, a lot of big things for the channel, like, a lot of... You know, different style videos apart from these ones. This is just, uh, I'm documenting my journey, boys. I'm going to see how far I can go and how long I can go, you know. So, I mean, with the pro proper consistency, proper effort and proper execution, I'll get fucking anywhere. And I feel like that's what I want to do. So, uh, tomorrow we have pull. So, I'll just see you then.